one thing about being in sale mode, you gotta be you gotta be ready to sell. So I'm going inside, get me a salad real quick. My first novel, I'm selling them an autograph. Oh wow. What is it about? Go ahead and read the back real quick. Sorry, I don't have anything on. Okay, That's a nice job though. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, you too. You know, the guy, um, the I was thinking about was, um, well, he, he wrote um, a prayer for Owen Meany. A and, prayer? Uh, uh, a prayer for Owen Meany. Oh, I haven't heard of that. And, um, the Cider House Rules. It's John somebody, but I, I, I haven't That's read John it in so long. No. Yeah, but I read a lot of his. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, I wish you well. All right, thanks a lot. I did get my salad. I was gonna eat outside, but the foot traffic is not really coming in through the door, so I will just kick back and relax. For so you guys who have never had a, a softness chicken salad, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and Prepare my meal. Okay. This right here is going to be my lunch. I don't really care for the cheese. I always take that out. Uh, there is a auto auction in this area that I need to go to and, and get some information so I can go ahead and uh, buy me a car so I can get out of this rental car. So that's one of the reasons why I did come a little further north. I'm hoping I can get me a good deal on one of those uh, cars from the auction. And you always gotta be prepared. Always gotta be prepared. You never know when you're gonna get a sale. I want you to read the back of the book to see what it's really about. Going home with an autograph book today? Just 15. Cash or a debit? I got square. I got square.
support. Support. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to give up my credit card either. Well, yeah. Uh, and what the best you can do. I'll look and see what I do have. That's Appreciate it, appreciate it. That's part one of three. Oh wow. And have you already written the others? Part two, yes. I'm working on part three right now. I'm on chapter What's your five. Favorite author? Mine? I'm still working on that. I'm thinking Daniel Silver. I haven't read, but I couldn't tell you what title. Sometimes I listen to audiobooks. I'm reading uh no, I'm working on audio though. I'm reading um, Moscow Rules or something like that. I've seen that title. I'm reading a book called Clean. I'd rather have it in my hand. Sorry. No, this is good. Some, my kids mm -hmm. would rather buy the book than have the electronic. Right. Yeah. But I don't want to store another book. And you know what? My Kindle fits really small in here. Uh -huh. That's bigger. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck to you. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Wish you the best. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks. All right. Over. Uh, how how am I selling books when I'm in a public location? So say for example, I'm, I'm sitting in McDonald's right now. All right. I got my computer bag out. I have my books in my computer bag, and I have. Uh, maybe a maximum of three books out on the table. And as people walk by, some people, to your be surprised, some people would ask you about your book or the books that's on the table, not knowing they're your books. And they're just like that conversation. So that would be a good start. And then you have to sit somewhere where the traffic is gonna be coming but not staying, right? So if you can sit somewhere where there's traffic passing by constantly, <clears throat> they're not laying around, right? So you don't want to be by the cash register where everybody's standing around watching you and, and, and you still, and basically you soliciting, right? So you don't want to be somewhere where you can be noticed. But you want to be somewhere where you can be heard as traffic of people walking by. And another thing is, uh, I mean, it's a numbers game. Every, and I prefer to ask the people or say something to the people who are on their way out of the location. That way, because you will have some people, as soon as you, they walk away from you, they'll go up and tell management, oh, this guy, you know, soliciting and trying to sell a book or whatever. Then you gotta leave, and now you're gonna blow up one of your locations. So I prefer to ask them, as they're leaving, so that way as they're leaving, if they say no, they on their way out the door, they ain't thinking about going back and telling you. And right now, I'm not in a good spot, right? Because I decided, actually, the, there are people sitting in the spot where I would prefer to be. So I'm not really, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and change my location. But before I change my location, there is something else that you you need. It's, it is vital. You have to have a credit card payment, a way where you can accept credit cards. When I first started off, I was unable to take credit cards, and I was losing customers. I'm talking about six, maybe ten customers a day, all because I wasn't accepting credit cards. So you got to start off with some type of payment system. For more information about Square, that's what I'm using right now, and it works decent, you know, it works really good to me. So um, I will go into more detail a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and change location. Bam, finally on my way. Oh, I'm so glad I had a salad. Ah, I don't feel guilty. Normally, if I eat something I ain't supposed to have, I feel guilty like I'm supposed to be like, ah. But, you know, you know, being on a diet is work in progress. Right? You got to keep working at it. You got to stay on top of it. You're going to always have temptations. Well, I'm going 
go to a check on this car auction and see what they got to say. Maybe I'll talk to you about that. So I uh, finally arrived at the auction, auto auction location. And I'm gonna go in and see what their procedure is. Sometimes it's a little bit different. I like to um, be able to check the car out before I you know, put a bid on it. I like to sometimes test it. Not sometimes, but I like to test them. Um, you know, look at the motor, run the car for a while, see what works, see what doesn't work. And some locations don't allow you to do that. Now, let me give you a, uh, a heads up. Now, every location is not a public auction. So if it's not a public auction, you're gonna need a, a license to, uh, to put bids in. But there are some locations where there are public auctions, that way they're open to the public. And you can actually go in and put your bid in and see uh, what can you get. Now, what the rule, from what I understand is, you pay a certain fee for the whole year and you're able to buy three to four cars within that time frame. So that way you can buy more than one car or you can buy uh, four cars or three cars, whatever their limit is. So I'm gonna go in and find out what the uh, what this location's rules are. 